so let us see this question now <coughs> we almost uh, completing the ionization and that will be the various variations and anomalies are uh, clear i spoke about this concept i spoke about this one this is increasing so all these questions are covered based on the ionization enthalpy let us finish off the topic with these two questions yes let us read why does copper and zinc why uh, does copper and zinc do not extend oxidation state beyond two simple right so uh, copper where is the copper here and zinc is here why don't they extend beyond two because of their stable configuration and because because of the stable configuration what is happening ionization enthalpy is very high isn't it for stable configuration you can write it in one word simple answer because of stable configuration and high ionization enthalpy so that's it this is the concept which it uh, examiner expects you to write now done and let us come back and do this question this is a bit tricky but it's easy while filling up electrons in atomic orbitals okay the forest orbital is filled before 3d but the reverse happens during ionization of an atom explain why okay they're asking us whenever you're filling an electron you first try to fill s and then go and fill your d but when you're trying to remove an electron you will first start with uh, uh, s and then d what is the reason they're asking us simple so whenever you have to fill an electron what rule do we follow we try to follow n plus l rule isn't it yes now what is this uh, rule what happens we see that whichever is a minimum value after adding both the principal content number and the removal content number after adding both whichever value is minimum i'm going to fill that first right so so let us see for 4s now 4s okay 3d also right they have given d also d also done this is your principal content number n correct so n plus l rule so n is 4 4 l value for s is 0 so this is 4 now for n principal content number n value is 3 3 for uh, d l is equal to 2 isn't it so 5 so which is minimum value in these two this is the minimum value so whichever is minimum value i'm going to fill that first and then go to d so that is the reason for the first one now for the second one when i have to take out or i'm using ionization enthalpy i have to remove an electron so what happens when i compare uh, this one n minus 1 d and your ns isn't it right now which is easier when i have to remove electron this is the outermost shell and this is your inner shell now i can easily remove electron from this using less energy but removing electron from the penultimate shell will become difficult why because the electron attraction or the nuclear attraction keeps on dragging the electron this is your penultimate shell that is your inner shell penultimate so the nucleus tries to drag the electrons from here the nuclear attraction will be more so what should you write as the second reason when removing an electron it is easy to remove s electron compared to okay, i'll write it here compared to d because it is in the penultimate shell closer to the nucleus so these because of these two reasons first is this reason second is this reason that is why we follow this concept